So in this video, you'll learn how to create an assessment in Teams or in OneNote in five minutes that includes the following components. There'll be a text for students, audio for students to listen to using either OneNote or Sway, and embedded video content, and that's using Sway, and a forms quiz. So this video is about six minutes long, and that's me showing you how to do it, and so you can do it in under five minutes. Um, I do have the assessment created in forms already, so that's obviously going to add a little bit more time if you're creating the assessment as well. So here I am in my class notebook, and if you have a class or a Teams for your class, you automatically have a class notebook. Um, so I would suggest starting with the Teams, and then if you just wanted to use the OneNote component only, you have that option. Um, I like to use the OneNote app. It links directly to the Teams page, um, but it's a little bit easier to use. So here I uh, created a new page in my content library. It's called the Spider and Cave Quiz. I put my Common Core Standard there and my just simple three directions to students. Read the passage, listen to the audio, and answer the questions. So. Um, in order for them to read the passage, I will need a passage. So you can insert a passage um, from anywhere. You can click on File and you can insert an attachment or insert a PDF printout of something that you have saved on your computer. You could insert a picture of um, that you've taken or snipped or whatever of um, some text, or you could you know copy and paste something. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I found an article on readworks.org that I want to use, so I'm going to go to readworks, and I am going to highlight that. Oh, let's start from the bottom here, actually, so make sure I get the whole thing. So I'm going to highlight this article here, and right-click and copy, head back to my OneNote, and click paste. So now I have um, the text that I want students to be able to um, read. And so the next direction says to listen to the audio, so that would require me actually having audio on this page. So it's a good reason to do it in OneNote because you can actually create your own audio if you click right here um, and you click on record audio, it will record you reading whatever uh, directions or passage that you want students to be able to listen to. Or you could insert a sway that has audio in it, and I've previously created a sway, so I'm going to actually embed that right here. So I'm going to go head over to my sway, and I've added um, audio as well as a YouTube video that I found that covers that same content. So it's just an example, so you could use something like this if you wanted students to do some reading research and also watch a video and answer some questions on it. So I'm going to click share, and you want it to be anyone with this link. Make sure that it's at view and not edit, and click copy. Head back over to your OneNote. Click on wherever in your OneNote you want this um, sway to appear, right click and click on paste. And so now it's there and you, if you refresh it you can see the sway and students can just click through it, listen to the audio, watch the video, all the pieces are there and you can also move it around wherever you want it to go, but that works for me. So the next piece in the directions is answer the questions. And so for that, you'll need um, uh, a form. I mean, you could type questions in um, if you wanted to review each one in that way. Um, the easiest thing to do would probably be to create a form so that you could uh, answer and score everything all at one time. And so I'll click right up here where it says forms. And I've already created the forms, and so I'll just click choose the one that I want to use and click insert. It's only going to appear if it is a quiz, not if it's just a polling question. And so now I have my page uh, created. This forms is still loading. And I have my text with visuals. I have um, the audio 
component as well as the questions. And so now is where I'll head over and do the rest of the work in Teams. And just delete this one because I'm creating a new one for you. So now that I'm in my Teams and in Assignments, I'll click on Create and a new assignment. So um, I will title this assignment Spider and Cave Quiz. You can set your due date, times, all of that. Um, I'm not really going to bother with that. And click Add Resources. So this is where you'll pull that OneNote page in. So you click on Class Notebook. And I had it in the Content Library. So this is just where I'm pulling it from to distribute it to the students. And it's my Spider and Cave Quiz. And this is asking where in the student OneNote do you want to place that. And I want to place that in Quizzes. And it says right here, students will edit their own copy, so they won't all be sharing it. They'll edit their own copy in their own section of their OneNote. And I'll click Assign. And so now when students see um, the assignment when it loads, and to create this way, I know we've already had PD on Sway, so you're probably very familiar. Um, with adding all of the content. So it's just one way that shows how to bring it all together. Um, and also you've had PD on OneNote and you know that students can go in and they can highlight text. Um, so that's uh, another reason to do this in OneNote um, so that they can go back and be able to highlight the parts of the text that um, is relevant to their assessment because that's something that they can do on Smarter Balanced. Over here they have the audio and video portion of it where they can through on the bit on the audio they can rewind play again all that video they could do the same thing and then um, their assessment with all of the assessment types or assessment question types 